Okay, welcome back to another episode of Onshape. We're going to practice uh, basic circle and arc dimensions. And we have this piece here that was made in millimeters. So we're going to insert, create drawing, and choose the ANSI AMM, which stands for millimeters. If you did it in inches, use the ANSI A in inch. Okay, so ANSI A. Okay, so the first thing it asks us to do is insert the part that we want. So select your part, and it defaults to the front view. Now, my, the way I built my part, the front view is the best front view. But if the top view were your best front view, you could switch that orientation right here. Uh, and here we get to project a view. So we're going to project our top view. Notice it switches to the projected view to tab. You always want to project your views so they stay aligned. If you try to insert uh, a different, say I want to ins I try to insert the right view, notice how it doesn't line up. You always want to project your other views from the front. So always project your views. So we're going to select the projected view tool, and you select the front, and then move it to where you whichever view you want. In this case, we want the isometric view. And I could project the right view, but that doesn't give me any new information about my part. So um, there's nothing new on that side that I need to dimension, like a hole on the right side or a feature that sticks out on the right side that I would need to dimension. So uh, I don't need that. Uh, I do want to shade my isometric, so I'm going to right click or two finger mouse click, show shaded view. Okay, all right. And if I needed to change the size, um, you could delete it or click on view properties. And there you could change the scale from one to one to two to one, which would be larger, or one to two would be smaller. Okay, so the first thing is. Uh, all circles need center marks, unless they're very small. So we need a center mark here. So you select the center mark tool. It's this circle with a plus. Move it over the edge of the circle, the circumference, and click on that to add that little plus. Then large arcs need also center marks. Okay, and then these fillets are a little bit smaller. We're not going to put uh, center marks on those uh, because they're at the corners. We know where they are. They just need a dimension. OK, so next, how to dimension a circle. So let's click on the Dimension tool. And a circle is dimensioned by its diameter. So if you click on it, highlight it, not uh, the little circle, but so that the whole thing is highlighted. Notice it puts a little circle with a slash through it. That's the diameter marking. And it's 10. So the diameter of that circle is 10. And then I want to get this arc here. Arcs are dimensioned by their radius, and their symbol is an R for radius. So the radius of that arc is 7. And since the other arc on this slot is the same, I am not going to put another R7 dimension. What I'm going to do, press Escape, and double click on that R7. And in this last box, I'm going to add TYP so that we know, oh, it's typical. The other arc is the same as this one. OK. And then I'm also going to dimension the these fillets. OK. And since all three fillets are the same, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add a TYP there. OK, so all three fillets are the same. OK, next, this uh, flat corner or the shaved corner is a chamfer. So we're going to select a chamfer dimension. And you click on the slant and then click on the edge that it connects to. And notice it wants to do what it says 5 by, so it's 5 millimeters long and it's a 45 degree angle. Okay. So there's that. 
All right. Last thing is, I need overall dimensions and dimensions. We need to locate where these centers are. So they need both a height and a width dimension. So I'm going to use ordinate dimensioning to do this. So with ordinate dimensioning, you select your start point, which is always one of the far edges. So I'm going to do widths. So I'm going to start from the left edge. So I'm going to click there. That's my starting point. And then I need to place how high I want my numbers all to be. So I want them about there. Okay. And then I select uh, the next place, which is the location for the uh, circle center. And then these two centers. And this one always, for some reason, has trouble. There we go. And then finally, the far right edge. Click. And then escape. Press the escape key. All right, so all my widths are dimension. Now I need heights. So I'm going to select ordinate dimensions. And I'm going to start up here from the top. That's my starting point. And then how far I want the numbers to be right there. There's my next location, next location, and then finally the last edge. Click and press Escape. So now I know the overall width is 60, the overall height is 40, and I know that the slot is at 15 millimeters from the top, and the circle is 30 millimeters from the top. OK. Now finally, I need a depth. So I'm going to ordinate dimensioning. Remember, don't mix your dimension types. So since everything, the widths and heights are ordinate dimensions, don't switch to do a baseline dimension like this. OK, don't switch your dimensioning types. Use the same dimensioning style consistently in your document. So I'm going to start here, place that and that. OK, so now I know it's 20 millimeters deep, my part. Okay, And I also want to show hidden lines. So right click or two finger mouse click and show hidden lines. OK, and I could add center lines to show that this is a hole that goes all the way through here. Boom. Boom. Oops. Sorry. So we went from here to here. There we go. And then this is a center line here. We got that edge. OK. So that's a hole that goes all the way through. And we could add that here. Since it's a hole that goes all the way through my part, it could add THRU in the note there for through. All right. And then uh, this, I give it a title right here. You can just double click on those. And that's fairly easy to do. OK, and then if I need to add a new sheet, I go over here and I click plus to insert sheet. And I can add a new sheet and do my next part if I have another part. OK. Have a good day.